Well, hello there, people with Internet, and hello again. I am the MLZ, and this is part 81 of my Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. In the previous episodes, we uh, we actually started. Yeah, we started the construction on the outside wall. Actually, started the construction. I uh, finished here the tower uh, of the crossbow dwarf, seal it off, make it fully functioning, and we also fixed the road. Uh, fixed the inaccessible depot and did a whole bunch of other things. So yeah, it is uh, midwinter apparently, <laughs> and yeah, we're just uh, doing our work here on the on the outside. Well, for the rest of this uh, for this episode, I'll be uh, as I said, I'll be working on the 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 wall here. I'm also, as you can see, building the top floor. Here, with wood, but uh, also working here on the uh, areas over here. See, so, yeah, I unsuspended a bunch of these walls. Not all of them, because that means that I wasn't. I'm not able to. Get through. It looks like uh, someone is actually carrying the corpse of uh, the guy that we found in the trees. So you, uh, oh, uh, at least you're carrying that corpse, because apparently there was a corpse stuck in a tree. Uh, don't really know how, but uh, it was there. So, uh, and there's also a dwarven child stuck in a tree, but I uh, haven't really bothered to do anything about it because, well, it's his own damn fault that he got there, so uh, he can fix it himself. And it's only a child. If it was one of our uh, one of our guys, we I would have done something about it, but meh, <laughs> can't really be bothered. Stupid uh, dwarven children not listening. Anyway, um. So yeah, I'm planning to do some more work here on the outside of the, the fortress. And also, I'm going to start working on the Hall of Champions. Which is basically like a bit of an aesthetic project that I wanted to start. Uh, because we're nearing the end, because this is part 81. And, whoa! Hang on a minute. Who threw that statue over? There we go, but that's just statue back. Probably one of the dwarves, because I remember one of the dwarves throwing a, uh, throwing a tantrum not that long ago, so I guess he's responsible for toppling the statue. Doesn't look like any other statues are out of place. But uh, we'll see if we discover any. Uh, yeah, I was also, yeah, as I said, I was planning to make the, uh, the Hall of Champions. Uh, it's a bit of a static project, doesn't really serve any purpose or. Anything like that, but I want to make a, a fortress. Uh, fortress. What the fuck? Yeah, of course I want to make a fortress. That's what I've been doing for 81 episodes. Uh, I want to build, uh, well, the Hall of Champions basically says it all. Uh, it's going to be a, uh, like, huge chamber, uh, which is going to, uh, well, basically honor, uh, some of the most important dwarves that are in my fortress. Oh, I was kind of having a think of where I want to put it. I still also have the bank there to, to finish up. Um, don't really want to build it like all the way down because, of course, here we've got our uh, dwarven pantheon uh, with the uh, graveyard over there. Also, I need to kind of start moving the uh, the tombs from the for the nobles down there, but that can wait. Also, the palace still needs uh, to be expanded because I want to turn this into a capital, into the capital. And all of that within 20 episodes. Uh, 19, include, uh, because this one is, this is 81. Because I'm going to probably stop this at 100. But I actually do have a bunch of things to do. I need the, the entire outside wall to be finished. I need this entire palace to be done. Um, I need the Hall of Champions to be constructed and I need to turn this into a capital, into the Dwarven capital. But yeah, first we need to wait an entire year to uh, 
actually allow the Dwarven Caravan to arrive again because the Goblins stopped our caravan last year. So I might do some things off camera. Uh, although then again, 20 episodes is a pretty long time, so... But yeah, probably, possibly I'll do some, some things off camera. Oh, there's a new mandate. Three crowns are demanded by who? One of the barons. Well, add new task. We should be able to build a rock. Uh, make rock. Crown, there it is. Crown, crown, crown. After you're done with the bookshelf, make three crowns and then that's done. It is given the name on an iron shield. Okay, good. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do this episode. So I'm basically going to mostly focus on the Hall of Champions. And from time to time we'll check in on this wall to see how this is going. And I will... Uh, um, Unsuspend various pieces of this wall so that the dwarves uh, can work on this continuously while I figure out how I want the uh, Hall of Champions to look like. Yeah, also we were building this, which is the height extension of the wall. Um, yeah, this is going to be a ridiculously slow project. Uh, build construction wall. Because we can basically do this only one block by one, because the dwarves will only be able to access it from uh, walking over here and then going there. But yeah, this uh, area is going to be completely... Uh, well, this is going to be easy, because this will be filled. Build construction floor. Whoa. There. A lot of schist out of hazelwood logs. There we go. Because this area is going to be completely filled with... Uh, this is going to be the, like the walking area. The wall will extend over here. We'll basically surround it so this will be another separate layer altogether. And then um, the crossbow dwarves, which will be able to walk up the up and down stairway that we already constructed here. That a lot of the dwarves are already using, this one. <laughs> the one with the humongous trail of vomit towards it, because dwarves hate outside. Um, the, the crossbow doors will be able to walk up here. This will all be fortified walls, wall pieces. So they can shoot down at goblins from here. And the, the goblins will of course be like, Grr, we're going to have to get them. So they walk in here. And then this will be the uh, long and painful hallway filled with traps. Uh, I guess I should also start constructing the traps. Uh, are we still... Oh, whoops. Are we still constructing mechanisms? Looks like it. Yeah. Okay, good. So we should have like a fuck ton of mechanisms left over. Build. Trap. Stonefall trap. Where's the cursor? There it is. So, my what I want to do is... Stonefall trap there. Mechanism. It's like stonefall trap, weapon trap, cage trap, weapon trap. Mm, well, then again. Well, how about... Uh, because the... What's it called? The uh, weapon traps are kind of difficult, expensive to make. Well, we, sh we have a load of galena. And we have a load of wood, so we can make a lot of charcoal. So, in theory, that should also be fine. So, stonefall trap. Uh, stonefall trap. Oh, well, maybe I should switch it around. Stonefall trap, cage trap. Uh, just thinking of what the best way is to do this. Stonefall trap. I want to make it a sort of a pattern. Let's just put stoneful traps at either end. And then one with two blocks interval. So one, two, there. There we go. That works out perfectly fine, actually. So there we go. We got our stoneful traps uh, designated. And then I want weapon traps. But for that, I need massive weapons. And for that, I need coal. So I want you to make charcoal. I want to spend that. 
And we will go here and we go to trap components. Silver, because we have a lot of Galena. Uh, giant silver axe blade. Just rip I'll put it on repeatedly so that the... Uh, what's it called? So that the... Uh, blacksmith can just continuously make uh, those things. Also, the charcoal is on... Re is on yeah, it's on the charcoal is also on repeatedly. I don't really need ash because we already just fertilized the fields. So we don't need any new potash for fertilization. So that's good. Okay, so I've got my... Uh, I will all, like fire up the production of a whole load of... Uh, oh, there we go. There's one of the, the wood burners. Uh, I'll fire up the production of uh, silver axe blades. And build trap. I will do a weapon trap. There. Shift mechanism. And then... Oh, what I could also do is make it out of those pikes. Because basically what it will be is it will be just be pikes that will st that will st like shoot out of the wall or kind of like or shoot out of the floor once you step on it. So that would also I mean I can't use the pikes because dwarves cannot use pikes, nor can they use halberds or bearded axes. They are just too big for the dwarf because those are goblin and human weapons, and the dwarves are of course small. So this will allow the this will actually make a use for this because I have, as you can see, seven copper pikes, and I have six silver pikes. I have some flails that I can use. Actually, this is a, I'll try this because it doesn't really need it. So I will put three copper pikes in. I will put three weapons in each thing. So three in there. So we're done selecting weapon trap. In that case, we actually don't need to make that many. It's not that expensive. Not a weapon trap there. Those mechanisms. And we will do... Uh, well, we can't... I don't really want to use, like, regular battle axes and morning stars. Because although all our mer all of our mer uh, military is fully equipped, I kind of want them to have their, their things. So, iron pikes. One, two, three. Done selecting. Weapon trap. Silver pike, one, two, three. And another weapon trap on that side. And in the remaining spots, I will either leave it empty or I'll put cage traps. I'll leave them empty for now. Any more pikes. Oh, we got some halberds. That's also fine. Done. Dwarves can't use those either. There we go. Because those, the, basically, what they'll have is, uh, if you remember, or, uh, if you've seen. What's that movie called again? Have you seen Indiana, the first Indiana Jones movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark? A dwarven child has been possessed. Wow, a dwarven child is about to make a masterpiece. That's interesting. Can't see where it is, though. And another child has been missing for a week. Probably the child that is in the tree and stuck. Reg Satomo. I'm sure that that is the... Stupid kids. Although, it would appear that the stupid kid has disappeared. Kind of. I don't see it anywhere. It was on one of the trees. Or maybe it has already died. Or maybe it actually decided like, hey, I got on this tree. Maybe I should get out of this tree. And so it did. Oh, no, hang on a minute. There's a, there's a corpse there. Yeah, it is. That is Reg Satonomal. Okay, so... This... We do actually have to chop down this tree. Because otherwise... Um, he's going to haunt the fortress. Because he doesn't have a proper burial place. How many burial places do we have left in our old graveyards? And the greeny, I believe that's the guy that we pulled from the uh, the tree. Not sure though. Okay, we actually have two spots left, and then we have uh, then 
those two graveyards are full, and then we can focus on that. So the, the child has, by the looks of it, claimed Kraftorf Workshop. Tables and Thrones, not really necessary. I need you to make burial receptacles. There, repeatedly. Uh, you can also do doors. We don't really need tables and thrones. Oh, then they, oh, we actually do need thrones, now that I think about it. So, do thrones. Because, of course, we need to fill the entire thing with that. Uh, this has already been fully filled with tables, so build chair. How many chairs do we have? A whole bunch of them. I'm not sure if we actually have enough. At least we're getting a very, very decent way. That's for sure. Okay, we probably... No, we're definitely... Oh, no, 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 no. We're definitely not going to have enough. But we've come a very far way. And there we go. Okay, so we got all the chairs in place in the, the Pantheon. We just need a couple more, so I'll keep the mason on creating them. And that will be that. Okay, so the weapon traps, uh, uh, all the, the traps that I designated are, of course, going to be constructed. The Dwarven Child has claimed the Craft Dwarf Work. I'm actually, 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 hang on a minute. Where is the, where is that Dwarven Child? Strange word, there he is. Zoom. Follow. Uh, once again, the game has decided to, oh, there he is. And follow. There we go. Okay, what are you grabbing? Okay, he's carrying a huge rock. All the way up, okay, so he's got a rock. A small dwarven child, who's even smaller than a regular dwarf, carrying the, carrying a rock. I mean, you know that dwarves love their, their, their rocks and stuff, but that's a bit over the top. Okay, so he's grabbing some cloth. Meanwhile, I can see also a whole bunch of other dwarves moving around with wheelbarrows and stuff, so that's a good sign. He's got cloth. What else does he need? Going back up, probably more, possibly more cloth or leather, maybe. Not more cloth. Cancels plant seed needs plump helmet spawn. I still, I really, really, I'm really disappointed at the fact that all these dwarfs, after all these years, still can't find the humongous stockpile full, filled to the brim with. Plump helmet spawn. Uh, no. Period. <laughs> My sentence was already over. But yeah, after all these years, there's the uh, stockpile with which is filled to the brim with a uh, huge amount of um, plump helmet spawn bags. Uh, they, it's still impossible for the dwarves to fight for some strange reason. Okay, he's using a whole lot of cloth. He's actually going somewhere else now. He's going. Where the hell is he going now? He's going all the way to the Pantheon to f grab a very specific rock, I guess. Or a piece of Galena, that's also possible. I'm actually starting to clear out the Pantheon by the looks of it, by, uh, with a little bit of Under the degree, he's grabbing a very specific gem, actually. Game Boy Pro is throwing a tantrum again. He was the guy that threw a tantrum last time, but he's a very good mason, so I really hope he doesn't go insane. Everybody's moving the chairs downstairs. But yeah, they actually started to clear out the uh, Pantheon from all the rocks. It's pretty funny. Whoa, okay. Fucking hell! Game Boy Pro, why the fuck would you do that? He's destroyed the fucking Mason's Workshop. Uh, Where's Mason? Yeah, just press M. Press? Yeah, press, yeah. Just press M. Fucking hell, he has fucking destroyed the Mason's Workshop. The fucking retard that he is. What the hell are you doing? Well, throwing a tantrum, of course, but why? Is there any reason why he, do why he does that? 
Cancels Construction Rock Door, Throwing Tantrum, Mason's Workshop Toppled. Well, not really toppled, he's fucking just uh, eviscerated, eviscerated it. Right, where are you? Is this you? No, that's Zach Taylor, he's my other good Mason. No, that's another Mason. You just like to zoom me to a random location and just hope that the guy that I was looking for is there, don't you, game? I would actually prefer it if you could get, go back to your old ways, which is actually showing me the guy that I asked for, but... Whatever. Oh no, I no, never mind. This time I actually... The game did what he was told, because I... Searched not on the person, but I searched on the events, because I went to, to the event page. But yeah, now that entire area is filled with furniture... Should make another furniture stockpile, actually. Oh, I haven't really made an actual stockpile here. Uh... I automatically select furniture? Yes, I can. You. This room is already empty, so... There we go, furniture stockpile. This stockpile was for... Ammunition. Okay. Oh, I can already see a crossbow dwarf moving over there. This is bars and blocks. Yeah. This is armor. This is also armor. But less popular for some reason. This is food. Additional food now, I guess. And a fully loaded out weapon stockpile. Yeah, this is armor as well. Take from the finished goods stockpile. This is the finished goods stockpile. He gives to the armor stockpile. There's a bit of, bit of armor there. Yeah, this is furniture. This is stone, specifically for Galena. And metal ores, I mean, in general. Food stockpiles. The food book piles are actually like not that great. Wonder why that is. Is there? Are we only fertilizing one? Yeah, this this is not doing anything. These are fallow fields. How are you doing? You're doing plump helmets in the in the spring. Okay, you're doing plump helmets all year, with the exception of winter, and this one. Exception of spring. Ah, there we go. So this one, we don't do plump helmets in spring. Uh, yeah, in spring. Or in summer, apparently. Well, we can actually do it in summer. You can take a break in spring. And then in autumn and winter, we do plump helmets there. And here we do the same thing, except in winter we don't have plump helmets. This, uh, what does this do? This does, do, this does sweet pots. For all the time once it can. And this is... This cave weed. For all the time that it can. Okay. So yeah, we do, we do really need to get some, some food up. Because the food supplies weren't ridiculously big. Also, there are a couple things here that we can butcher. You gotta... Oh, hang on a minute. No, not, not, not the cow. Whoops. I almost butchered my milk animals. Oh, well, there are way too many puppies already, so... And they're also... All the animals need food as well, so... There, we can butcher all of those and hopefully get some food out of that. Okay, there we go. So, all of the... Uh, Stoneful traps are loaded. And the dwarven child has started on the mysterious construction. Good for you. So, all the stonefall traps are created, at least. Not sure whether they are loaded yet or not. What I'll do is do see some guys walking around with, with rocks, so that, that's a good start. That's a good sign. This has all been made, so build construction wall. Wow, I keep forgetting how, actually, how fast those dwarves can actually do their thing. Okay, Q. I must remember not to unsuspend this one because then otherwise they have to make a humongous detour. There we go. Work on the next one. Oh yeah, also I need to link up those two bridges to a uh, to a lever. I already made the room. So build construction. Tra uh, oh no no no! Build trap. Build lever or lever. I always say lever. Mechanisms and another lever on the other side with mechanisms. Uh, 
Right, so they'll work on the next layer there, and then build construction floor. There, hazelwood logs, or whatever. Doesn't really, ne not really necessary that it has to be specifically out of hazelwood logs. I just want logs in general. Actually, uh, build construction wall. I've got a better idea, because otherwise I will keep forgetting to do this all the time. There, just... I'll just put the entire thing in, I'll suspend all everything with the exception of the first one. It's a much smarter idea. And then we will suspend everything. Oh, whoa. Shit. Well, I suspended it for accidental, accidentally. There we go. And then we can just, every time, once I built that one thing, I will just unsuspend the next one. And then this wall is higher. And then build construction wall. I will also have another wall being constructed already, which is the one over here. Why the hell? Oh, because there's floor. Fuck. I keep forgetting that. That's okay. Uh, designates. That's a bit stupid to me. Uh, remove construction, which is N. From there to there. Remove the floor. You, you kind of would think it would make sense, because it doesn't really make sense to build a wall out in, in midair, but in Dwarf Fortress, this is how it works. Which is fine. If you just know how it works, then you can just work your way around it. Now, also, we should start thinking of... Well, no, never mind, because we make this go all the way along, so that doesn't really matter. So yeah, we'll remove that floor, we'll build a new wall, we'll extend this, because the wall will also be extended along here, just like I'm doing right here. So, I'll also make a start of that, so yeah. A load of work to do. It is already a wor work that we were actually needed to do for a very long time, but of course, from time... Um, I didn't really order a lot of work to be started to begin with, but uh, yeah. Right, so uh, nobles, you. Oh yeah, you, of course we can't make those crowns because the fucking child has done that. Okay, so once again, uh, what did we need? We needed doors. We needed uh, chairs, and we needed. Uh, coffins, repeatedly. I'll double the coffins, uh, so that we can fill those uh, graveyards faster. Right, has this tomb been filled by the child? It has! So we only have one tomb, uh, one tomb left in this graveyard, and then after that we'll move the, the, the deceased to the, uh, underground, uh, graveyards. Well, this is also underground, but I mean the one under the Pantheon. Right, so now that I've actually done all of that, let's actually start thinking about the uh, Hall uh, of Champions. Right, so the idea that I had was basically just a very long-shaped hall, kind of like the statue garden that I've got over here, but of course a lot bigger and a lot more decorative than the statue garden. Um, also, actually, do we have... No, of course we don't. Oh, whoops. Hang on a minute. Just checking. This is too far down, there we go. Okay, I was just wondering if we already had like a golden chair, because I of course wanted a golden throne for the Dwarven King once he arrives, and I just... Like, hey, did I make that already? I don't... I'm not sure, and if I did, then I would have put it in the uh, Pantheon without me noticing. Okay, looks like some of the weapon traps are also being constructed, which is good. And the floor is coming along. And did they already make... No, this is being constructed, okay. Anyway, let's start thinking about the, uh, the thing. So yeah, it's basically going to be kind of like this. Like a long hallway with statues in it. Of course, it's going to be bigger. And there are going to be area, uh, different areas in it. Because... Um, 
Uh, Q, that's the button I was looking for. No, that's not the button I was looking for. T, that's the button I was looking for. Because, yeah, here we go. We got statues of Aziz Fadil in here, because that's what I ordered. We got... Hey, why the hell are there only two statues in there? I thought there were more, because I... Yeah, this is one of the statues that I randomly uh, ordered, and this is a statue that I made myself. I specifically ordered this one, which is uh, Aziz Fadil uh, destroying all the goblins. Um, because I because I liked both of them, I was like, all right, I have to choose one of the other for the uh, Pantheon, but uh, for the Hall of Champions. But then I thought, what I what I could also could do is make an area where I'll put three statues next to each other. Of the person, and then we will have like little areas where, uh, like a sort of like, yeah, just little areas where we have set up where three statues of those are a, a three by three by two area. It won't be closed off by a door. It'll just be a big, small area within the big area. If you get me. But I thought I already ordered an extra statues, but I'm actually gonna build a statue just to see whether I it may have been moved. So I will just check that statue of dwarfs. Okay, as this video twice. No, actually, there is no uh, extra statue of him. So, also, what are you creating? Thrones and tables. Okay, it's a good thing that you're creating th thrones, but you don't need tables anymore. Add a statue, and I will detail it. Image related to historical figure. Search for oh, whoops, as this. Fidel. There we go. Done. Okay, so I don't care what the statue is about as long as it's is created a limestone zin. All right, what the hell is a limestone zin? Well, I know what limestone is, but what the hell is a zin? Oh, it has to be this thing. Well, it's worth forty-four thousand four hundred dwarf credits, so that's that's something. Oh no, no, that, that's the thing that we created before. That is the. Uh, um, that's some musical instruments. Okay, so this is 48,000 uh, dwarf credits. A limestone zin also appears to be a musical instrument by the looks of it. All craft are of the highest quality. It is decorated with pigtail and ek, ek, ekinda, ek, ekna leather or something. I don't, know. I don't even know what the hell that is. <laughs> it's object medicine with spikes of willow. On the item is an image of pines in limestone. My... On the item is an image of Vafis, Vafis, Taupe Seasons, the Dark Creature Concert, and Lon Rosp, Rosp Danks, Danklas. <laughs> He's Dankl Danklas, okay. The Danklas, the human, in Sedme. In Sedme. What? Right, on the item is an image of. In said may mind shows forgotten bee silk. Oh, okay. So it is said may mind my, said may mind shoves the forgotten beasts silk. Okay, there we go. I can yeah, it confused me a bit. Uh, Vafis is crying. Lon Raspadanklus is laughing. Yarig relates to the ripping of the dark creature consorts. Vafis taupe seasons left upper leg by the human. In 79. How the hell does that kid know about that? That kid has... that. It has can't be that old. Dwarves don't get that old. Well, when they do get that old, I believe they can... I believe dwarves can get over 100 years old. But then they are actually, like, pretty old in general. But not a child. Well, then again, perhaps her, his or her parents have told him or her stories about that. And apparently there was a parents thought that was a very important event. Well, the item is also an image of... A cabbage in pigtail. On the item is an image of a circle in purple spinel, and on the item is an image of Kakushan Capricorns in Echina bone. The Zin is a mid sized handheld bone wind instrument consisting of a central wind chest and ten cylindrical ceramic pipes fitted with three, with three reeds. Okay, so that kit, that kit has basically created a fucking. Uh, some sort of very important, well, very important, but a very, uh, 
um, expensive musical instruments. Right, old C bookcase. How many bookcases do we actually have? Oh, we have actually more than enough. There we go. We actually have some spare bookcases, just in case I want to add an or uh, add or increase the library. Well, it's kind of difficult to increase the library at this point, but okay. Interrupted by Forgotten Beast. Hang on a minute. That seems something important. What? All the way up here? Hang on a minute. Where the hell is that Forgotten Beast? Forgotten Beast invited guests. There we go. Discuss water clock reservoirs. Discuss the sun and seasons. Everybody's discussing about water clock reservoirs. Ponder liquid extraction. The chemist. What would, because it's funny, what would be cool, I don't know if it's in the game, I don't think it is. Oh, we have a lord that is visiting us for some reason. What would be cool is if, oh shit, whoa, okay. The forgotten beast has got someone. It's actually... Set me Borbathu. What? Uh, what the hell? No, that's not a forgotten beast. That is the forgotten beast. Oh, it's using Q. That's what's wrong. Zach Bonijuani. Well, I th was kind of afraid when I saw Zach that it was Zach Taylor, but luckily it's not him. Oh, and Nikki may... Uh oh, hang on a minute. Are we actually losing military guys or not? Axe of Death... No, Bolts of Battle Guys, no, Bolts of Blaze of Greatness, no, 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 okay, no one significant has died, alright, so he's actually coming up, yeah, he's coming up this time, fucking hell, whoa, okay, he has, he has actually made a whole bunch of casualties here, Vrahil, oh my god, Jurassic Guy, What the hell? Wasn't Jurassic Guy like an amazing mason or something? I can't remember. You're definitely going in the halls of champion because even though you might not have been a phenomenal dwarf, you have been on my channel for a very long time. See, the, the annoying thing is that I added all the most dedicated subscribers in the beginning. And of course, the first people that are in the fortress are usually the first people to die. So that's kind of like where I went wrong there. But uh... Oh, he's actually... Oh, that was on his way down. Okay, so... Yeah, this was already like that. And he has basically killed all of these innocent dwarves that were just going down there to collect collect webs or something. Okay, so we are definitely going to throw up an alert immediately. Active alert. So, because I can see the Baron and my legendary chef moving down there, and that's not what I want. So, I want Blades of Greatness. I want you guys to uh, station your... Oh, whoops, no, that's not what I want. I want you guys to move there, as well as Axe of Death move there as well. Okay, we have an alert, so everyone should get inside. Soldiers are getting out. There we go. Oh, he's over. someone's going in. Oh, there's another corpse there. Yeah, we already knew about Oh yeah, that's Nicky Oh, never mind, I knew about that. Okay, so... Oh, oh, hey, hang on a minute. Yeah, Jurassic Guy's been found out. I know about that. Okay, so, station. Uh, B, kill... That Forgotten Beast. And G, kill That Forgotten Beast. Go. Legendary guys? Do what? What? No way. Hang on a minute. They fucking killed one of my guys. Yeah, look at that. They fucking killed one of my legendary guys. I you know it's a forgotten beast, but what the hell? Wait, where is he? Oh. And... We get him? 
I think it's dead, but we lost one of our fucking soldiers. Raptor Jesus. We lost Raptor Jesus, apparently. Oh my god, no way! No way that this is Fadil died right there. Oh my god, this is Fadil fucking died here. He, wow, okay, so he's able to... F okay, yeah, no way I'm gonna continue with this, because that's just ridiculous. How many guys did I lose in that? Axe of Death lost one guy, which was a Zis for deal. And Blades of Greatness lost one as well, so that was probably Raptor Jesus then. Yeah, no way I'm gonna continue with a Zis for deal being dead. He can fucking destroy 15 million goblins in, on his own, but one Forgotten Beast is too much. That's just a bit ridiculous, in my opinion. Well, a bit, it's just absolutely fucking ridiculous. Anyway, um, I'm gonna end off this episode here. I will restart the game, so don't worry, everyone, everyone that was dead, you won't be dead once we continue next time. I will do all the stuff that I did off, ca uh, off camera again, and I will be a bit further. Because I did a whole bunch of stuff here, working on the fortress and doing everything, and I don't really want to lose all that progress, so... Yeah, I'm, but I'm definitely not gonna fucking lose my most import- my most elite guys, just like that, because one forgotten beast just decides to do so. Um, so yeah, I hope you always enjoyed the video, click the like button underneath if you did, subscribe to be part of the Roman army so you never miss a new video, so you can do that by clicking the subscribe button here, or, uh, what? Ave! <laughs>